Hey everybody, it's Christine getting ready to start our next shelter in place workout, Christine's Boss Workout. As always, we want to go over a couple different things. Want to make sure you're wearing good supportive sneakers that have a good arch support and are comfortable on your foot. Anything that happens at the chain, goes up, can create problems through the ankle, the knee, the hip, the back. Let's avoid any injuries. Wear appropriate shoes that are right for you, whether you're somebody that pronates, supinates, or has a neutral foot. Next, you wanna make sure that you are well hydrated and have had proper nutrition prior to beginning today's class. Our class does have a lot of high energy, low energy, intermittent training. You wanna make sure that you're going to have enough energy stores to get through the whole workout and still feel good at the end. We always begin with a five to eight minute warm up. I tend to do a traditional style full body warm up. If that's not to your liking, please make sure you use your stairs, you get on an indoor bike, you get dance, whatever you need to do to increase and elevate your body temperature so that things are easier to move and not causing any problem at the joints. We will end with a stretch segment, 30 to 60 second hold, two to three repetitions per side is optimal. For today's class, we will be using some hand weights. I tend to use two different sets a lower weight and a higher weight. Lower is better for toning purposes, heavier weight better for developing a stronger muscle and for getting stronger. Whatever you're going to be using for your weight, please make sure that you are not compensating, you're not rocking and rolling, swinging around, all right? That's a whole other thing, that's called dance. We're not doing that. So you wanna have very controlled, focused motions. All right, some are a little bit quicker, working on fast twitch fibers, some's a little bit slower, working on the slow twitch. Make sure whatever you use, it's appropriate for your body type. We are going to start on that high knee march. Ready, let's go. It's gonna be a little quicker. Back, up, up, up. Back to up. One more. Bring it wide.
Heel forward. Toes up. One more. March. Arms out. Circle ten. Ten back.
up. Ready?
to the side, abduction, working your hips, hips and glutes. Four 
how your thighs feel. You good? We're gonna be doing up, out, row, extend, other leg. Not other leg, other arm. One leg up, working on core. Two hand weights, one leg out, up, out, row, extend, other side, up, out, row, extend, up, out. Dead bugs, 
Arm over, arm over. Down, down. Over, over. Down, down. Over. Breathe. Squeeze that belly and bump. bring it on down. We're going to be on our hands and knees, actually on our toes and our hands or our forearms. All right. We are going to be doing, ha uh, oh yeah, Cupid Shuffle. You ready? You getting ready? All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to listen to the words of the song. To the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. That's when you're going to move your foot. All right. And you'll see. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of core work. Not gonna lie to you. All right? Bring it on down. Out. Two, three, four. Kick. Knee drop. Three, four, kick, 
roll that out. All right, bring it all the way down to the floor, legs out in a wide sit. We have one more thing to do before we start our stretching. We're gonna do the gale, oh the gale, because our legs haven't had enough. All right, hands are in front, squeeze that belly and bum, soft knees, lift, lift, up, one, two, up, three, four, looks easier than it is, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, feet in the front, heels flat, pulse out, up, up. Heel drops, two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, in, in. Going to do them, 
Make sure you're doing the stretches, holding for the appropriate amount of time. If you're doing the strengthening, you pay attention to your body. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Message me, let me know. I can give you an alternative. On cross, bring that leg out, cross that other leg over, knee into the center of your chest. Okay, and hold. If you feel that you have more flexibility, you can bend that bottom leg, increasing the amount of stretch. However, again, make sure that your glute is on the floor. If your glute is lifted, you're not stretching the right muscle, so we're not doing it correctly, okay? In order to do it properly, the glute needs to be down, and you're up tall in the middle, all right? We're stretching out the piriformis muscle. What I was going to say is the strengthening part will improve your speed, it will improve a, a variety of things, all right? So I went out for a run yesterday. I haven't been running as much um, after I did my 100 miles in that month. I was like, yeah, okay, I think I'll take a little bit of time off. Gonna cross, gonna come up on one knee. So I decided that I would focus on other things, stretching, strengthening, doing my workouts, that kind of stuff. Gonna stretch and lean forward. Knee does not go over that toe. And I have to tell you, my speed had increased. I went longer than I had anticipated, and it all felt great. I mean, yeah, I got a little muscle soreness, don't get me wrong. I haven't been running as much, you know, but I did four and a half miles yesterday, picked up my pace by probably a minute per mile each. Um, I was kind of shocked, not gonna lie to you, since I haven't been doing it. But I was running on fresh legs, so I guess we're gonna see, right? But all I'm saying is, you know, you gotta vary up your workouts in order to improve your workouts. If your goal is to be an excellent cyclist, all right, you might want to focus on improving, you know, full body, maybe swim, do yoga, things like that. Yeah, I know it's not strengthened for the quads and for the glutes and all the rest, but it is lengthening your whole chain. All right, that's why triathletes are multi-sport. We do different things to focus on. So it's full body, right? Just another alternative. Feel that deep into that hip. Knee is not going over that toe. Definitely make sure that you are stretching adequately today. All right, you did a, a, a squat sequence, you did a lunging sequence, we did an arm sequence, we did a lot of glutes, a lot of hip, we did a lot of everything. That's the best part about these classes, right? It's very focused, very combined, but it is full body, head to toe. Bring it all the way on up, one leg forward, Back foot is straight, front knee is bent, arm out and hold. Starting to look like spring in New England. I'm loving it. Had a little bit of a baby crocus trying to poke through the, uh, some of the mulch, uh, the loam that I have out there. I think it's the mulch. I always mess those two up. Isn't that silly? Little things, huh? And then over to the other side. Back foot is straight, bent knee in the front, arm out and hold. Stretching out that posterior chain. I hope that you guys are taking time for yourselves. Breathing, getting fresh air. I appreciate your time with me. Away from your family and your friends, I know, right? I do appreciate it. I know there's so many other things out there you could be doing. Bring that arm over, gentle tip. And I know a lot of my peeps are doing it bright and early in the morning, that way they don't miss out before they go off and do their regular stuff. Andrea, you're a champ. Pat, you too. All you guys, man oh man. I get up in my day, go to work, come home, plan, prepare, do my class. And then I'm tired, man, I'm tired. Bring it up and over. It's funny, you know, you get to a certain age and you're like, whew, this is like work now. I used to get up in my sleep and do this kind of stuff. No worries, no problems. That energy thing, cheapers, creepers. Bring it up and over, arms forward, fall, head to chin to chest. And push it back, and arms 
down, head tilt. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. I don't know if you can see it in the corner, but it's definitely brightening up. Over the other side. As always, I truly do appreciate you all. I do want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me. Bring it in. Inhale. Out. One more time. Let's go. Breathe in. Give yourself a pat on the back. Peace, love, and light. Love you.